It's the MotoGP circuit is in Austin in the U.S. this weekend with all the bells and whistles of the Americas. The Binder brothers of Brad and Darren have kept us glued to our screens as we watch those uh, close shaves out on circuit as they attempt to get ahead of the pack. We now welcome Dad, Trevor Binder, who has been a huge influence on his uh, sons taking up uh, this sport to look ahead at what we can expect from uh, uh, the men in Austin. Uh, good morning to you, Trevor. Thanks so much uh, for uh, your time this morning. You clearly uh, have been a huge influence uh, on uh, your sons, Brad and Darren, and I've known you, you've answered this question uh, multiple times uh, before. But just for the benefit of our viewers, uh, uh, what led you to inspire the boys to take up this fast-paced sport? Basically, um, that's a decision they, may, had, they had to make themselves. Um, you can't force your kids into that type of uh, game. You know, it's uh, motorcycle racing takes a very special type of person. And, um, you know, to fall and get hurt and get up, get back on and go faster, it's, it's, it's just something you either want to do or you don't. Now, the both of them have had uh, uh, success uh, in their very short careers. Uh, for you, what has been the highlight for, let's go with uh, Darren first, the younger of the two. Um, Darren, I think um, he's had it a little bit more difficult. You know, uh, it's difficult trying to get, get into MotoGP from South Africa, as many people will tell you from here. And, um, you know, we don't always seem to get into the best teams with the best equipment and um, um, yeah I think he's had a couple of podiums and things but um, we, we're hoping that uh, the end of this year is going to bring big things for him. And then uh, older brother Brad uh, certainly has uh, gone on to great things since uh, his championship winning season in uh, Moto2. Uh, his uh, best moment for you so far? I think one of the highlights is definitely when he was world champion in 2016. Then he moved on and he had a, quite a successful career at the end of Moto2, the, the second half of the year. And then obviously since they've taken him to MotoGP, that, that's the pinnacle of motor racing, motorcycle racing in the world. And uh, it's definitely been a learning curve. KTM is fairly new in that game, and uh, I think uh, they're making big steps forward all the time. Now, just to give us a sense of uh, what uh, the guys go through as they prepare and go through qualifiers, uh, what, what is it that uh, assists uh, both of uh, Brad and Darren? Clearly, they are brothers, uh, but uh, have di different personalities that would aid them at uh, excelling in this very fast-paced sport? I, I think um, Brad is more a thinking type of rider. You know, he goes out, takes his time on a Friday, finds his way around and uh, really works hard at what he's doing. We, Darren is more aggressive and uh, he's really more balls-to-the-wall type of person, if you can put it that way. Now, before we ask for your uh, prediction for what's going to happen at the Americas later tonight, um, quickly, there's four races left in the season, um, and uh, both are sitting relatively pretty. What do you think they can still achieve, with, uh, including today's race, with what's left of the season, uh, Brad being sixth on the championship standings and Darren seventh? What more can they still do uh, for the, what's left of the season? I think um, at Austin today is going to be very difficult. I think um, I'm hoping that Brad's going to do well. A lot of the riders are moaning about the bad surface and bumps and what have you. And uh, I think that might play into his hands later today. Darren is a little bit heavy for the Moto3 bike. And at Austin, there's uphills and downhills that are really going to count against him. But um, he's a fighter, and I'm hoping that he'll be in the top six. 
Also, before we let you go, uh, how do you stay in contact with uh, your sons when they are abroad? This, uh, we believe, is uh, the first time that you are using Zoom to, uh, to uh, chat to uh, us on, uh, on ENCA. That's right, yeah. No, we, we usually call them every evening on WhatsApp and we have a little family meeting and they sort of fill us in what's happening. You know, they always travel together, stay together. So usually in the paddock, if you see one brother, you see them both. So, you know, they, they, they pretty much keep us up to speed all the time.